Welcome to the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm Brutal Campaign How-To Guide for the Crucible. This guide assumes you've completed the Heart of the Swarm campaign on normal with all Kerrigan levels found. Please refer to the game timer when following video instructions. The too long didn't watch version of this guide is as follows. Move Kerrigan to the orange circle, ignoring the enemy primal Zerg. At the next stage, build an economy, spread creep tumors, defend against attacks, take an expansion, mass swarm hosts, spine crawlers and spore crawlers for defense. Finally, you should have defended long enough for Kerrigan to awaken, thus completing the level. For Kerrigan abilities, it makes no difference what you pick because you won't be using her for very long. It's your choice. For swarm upgrades, it's completely your choice. If you'd like to know more, then please continue to watch. Start by moving Kerrigan east. Do not engage in combat, just ignore the primal Zerg. Keep moving until you reach the orange circle. Begin by making three drones and continue to make drones. Then select your evolution chamber and research evolve missile attacks level 1. Then take two drones off from your gas and place them onto minerals, leaving one drone on the gas. Hotkey your hatchery and your queen and then use the queen to spawn a creep tumor at the west ramp. Select your mutalisks and send them west on the map to where you started. Send your queen to the east ramp. Then route your spine crawlers and swarm hosts as shown in the video. With your queen, spawn a creep tumor at the east ramp and then move to the spore crawler. Spawn another creep tumor when available and then move to the western spore crawler. Select a drone and send him east so that he can expand later. Spawn another creep tumor and then move the queen to the spine crawlers to hold position. Spread creep tumors from now on when possible. Build a hatchery at your expansion. The mutalists that you sent west earlier should already be attacking the primal Zerg that have spawned at this location. Select the mutalists and attack move them in the direction of your base so that they continue to chase the primal Zerg down. With your rooted spine crawlers and swarm hosts, you should easily be able to hold this position. Once you have killed the primal Zerg, uproot your spine crawlers and swarm hosts and then move them along with your army to the eastern ramp. Once your expansion is about to go up, select 12 drones and send them to the mineral line at your expansion. Now select your evolution chamber and queue evolve ground carapace level 1, so it will research immediately after evolve missile attacks level 1 has finished researching. Continue to spread creep when necessary. Once you are close to 600 minerals, take 6 drones from your main minerals and send them to the east ramp where your army should be. Create 6 spine crawlers along with the other 2 spine crawlers that you start with. Keep your swarm hosts rooted just southwest of your spine crawlers and keep your queen and mutalists behind the spine crawlers. Once you have 900 minerals, build three hatcheries at your main and rally them to your main minerals, and then take the extractors at your main and expansion. With your army rooted by the east ramp, you should easily defend this position. Once you have cleared the attacking primal Zerg, uproot your spine crawlers and swarm hosts and move them to the west ramp along with your army. Select your evolution chamber and research evolve missile attacks level 2. Then begin to fill the extractors that you built earlier with drones at your main and expansion. You will want to set up a defense at your west ramp. Create more spine crawlers to boost your defense and click on the spawn locust button at the top right when available and needed. Max out on workers at your main and expansion. Then make swarm hosts when resources allow otherwise. Make spine and spore crawlers at the choke points leading to your main and make drones to replace those drones morphing into spine and spore crawlers so that you stay maxed out on minerals at your main and expansion. Set up another defense at your east ramp with additional spine crawlers using drones. Kill the air forces with your queen and free mutalisks and click to spawn some locusts. Once you have cleared the attacking primal Zerg at the east, leave the defenses that you have set up there and take any spare swarm hosts west. Select as many drones as needed to build another defense at the west ramp. At this point when building more defenses, I suggest you start mixing in spore crawlers along with your spine crawlers, as you will need them for later on. Later on you will want to build another defense at the south ramp to hold off any future attacks from below. Make sure to build spine and spore crawlers at your expansion, particularly spore crawlers as the enemy air seems to go here quite often. By now you should have three defense choke points with spine and spore crawlers along with swarm hosts. By this point you should have pretty much everything you need. 
All that you can really do is to make sure that you have maxed out on your food cat with swarm hosts and build as many spine and spore crawlers as you can. With more units and buildings than a tower defense, you should get to the end of this level quite comfortably. Thanks for watching this how to guide on how to complete the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm campaign, the Crucible level on brutal difficulty. Click on any of the video links to see any of the how to guide and playthrough videos for the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm brutal campaign.